hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about what do people say behind your back when you're not around so we'll be using the star codes astro oracle deck for the card selections okay so what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say pile number one we have a virgo digest Pile number two, pile number two, we have debilitated, discomfort. And pile number three, we have Venus, beloved. Okay. So pile number one, Virgo, digest. Pile number two, debilitated, discomfort. And pile number three, Venus, beloved. Okay, so pause this video if you must and meditate on the card that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Bawan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked Virgo Digest and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, what do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do people say behind your back when you're not around? So with the Virgo Digest, I'm getting that people say that you are somebody who's extremely disciplined, okay? Um, I'm also getting that they say that you are an introvert, okay? So it's kind of hard to get to know you. You keep to yourself. Um, you don't really talk much. You're, much. you're much more of an observant person. They also notice that you have like a strict regimen or diet, okay? And people admire that about you, how you're disciplined about your diet. They wonder what you do on your personal time. Um, they, Some of them, they probably think that you work out because I'm getting that they think that you have a fit body or they talk about your body, how it's lean, how it looks healthy with the Virgo Digest. So what do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have... This is the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So it says a windfall of abundance, wise counsel or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contact, significant purchase like a home or a vehicle, okay? So they definitely see that you as somebody who is a lucrative contact. That's what people say behind your back when you're not around. But I'm also getting like that you have good fortune or you, are, um, you have good luck. Like opportunity just seems to follow you wherever you go with the ace of pentacles okay so you always get new career opportunities I'm getting like this could be like friends or family members that talk behind your back when you're not around this is what they say some of them are a little bit jealous of the fact that you always get to like is oh you seem to always be lucky when it comes to new career opportunities okay what do people say behind your back when you're not around? Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups, 
a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you could trust, okay? So people definitely say behind your back that you are trustworthy with a Ten of Cups, that you may come from um, a stable family with the Ten of Cups, or they just talk about how if you have children here, they say that you are a really good parent, they like the way you raise your kids. Your kids are well-mannered with the Ten of Cups. This is what people see behind your back when you're not around. We also have the Strength card. This is um, Leo energy. So for some of you, it could be Leo Virgo Cuss. Don't have to be. But it says personal power and assertiveness uh, portrayed with kindness. Compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing that you are stronger than you knew. Okay, so... They definitely say that you are somebody who's extremely courageous and um, also strong. You have a compassionate nature to you. You're humble as well. This is what they say behind your back when you're not around, okay? We have the lovers, Gemini energy. So it says embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart, vibrant health, or recovery from an illness and I did say that your health okay this is something that they say behind your back when you're not around that you seem like very healthy especially your food choices like your diet is very strict some people they wonder how you do it how you're so disciplined to keep your diet intact to not eat junk food and if you do eat junk food is to a minimal and you like I feel like you also do a lot of fasting maybe some people like they wonder how you commit to your fast okay because I feel like some of you if you eat junk food for one day maybe you fast for a couple of days to release those toxins from your body and fasting is really good for you it's also a spiritual practice but I'm getting like you do this for both for the spiritual benefit and the physical benefit of fasting and people do talk about that behind your back like they they definitely praise you for that, for having the discipline and the stamina to do so. So what do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do people say? Oh, we have the hermit. The hermit was already flipped over. Okay, so this is Virgo energy again. So time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. And I did say that you like to spend time alone. And this is what people say behind your back when you're not around that you are more of a lone wolf or you don't really like to socialize as much. And if you do socialize is with specific people. Okay. You like to keep your circle tight. It's kind of hard to get to know you. People try to pray in your personal life because they want to get closer to you but i feel like you have strong boundaries okay so it says shine your light as an example to others seek out or become a spiritual mentor self-discovery but it says shine your light as an example to others so you're definitely an example for a lot of people i feel like these people don't tell you exactly how they look up to you in front of your face but behind your back they sing you praises okay with the hermit they definitely see you as an example of how to take care of your body or stick to your regimen or stick to a specific routine and i'm getting like you're really good at that and people definitely praise you behind your back okay this is what they say about you behind your back we have the ten of swords that came out it says the end of a situation that brings relief sadness or both the opportunity for a new happiness a weight off your shoulders the end of an addiction or melodramatic reaction so i'm really getting a weight off your shoulders so people say behind your back that you're the type of person that will cut off somebody without any warning if they bring you some sort of drama or anxiety or stress in your life you're not afraid to cut them off so people know that if they're going to want to be in your life they have to treat you with respect you're not going to accept anything less you're not going to settle for less in any connection okay and that's what people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do we have here we have the king of swords and we have the seven of swords so it says intelligent impartial respected stoic receiving wise advice um advice sorry remain objective and fair-minded public speaking communicate clearly on um unemotional relationship or being emotionally unavailable so that's the king of swords so i'm really getting with the king of swords the energy that is more 
like being uh, spoken to me is being intelligent and impartial. So people definitely say that you are somebody who is extremely intelligent, who is fair minded. Okay. You like to see both sides of the story, both sides of a situation before you make your judgment. Okay. And I'm also getting like you give wise advices and you're a really good, uh, great communicator. This is what people say behind your back when you're not around. And we have the seven of swords. Seven of swords is like a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take cautions, caution and be aware of others' action. Material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. So I'm getting take caution and be aware of others action you're very cautious that's what people say behind your back when you're not around okay i'm not getting that you are sneaky or you're deceptive i'm getting like you pay attention to people's sneaky behavior so it's kind of hard to get things past you with the seven of swords and this is what people say behind your back when you're not around that it's not easy to fool you with the seven of swords what do people see behind your back when you're not around? What do we have here? We have the, um, this is the page of cups. Okay. Sensitive, open hearted, um, inexperienced, moody messages related to relation, re, um, sorry, messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, social invitations or events, heightened psychic abilities. So I'm definitely getting that. People say that they feel like you are psychic, you know certain things, um, you're like you're really good at reading a room with the page of cups, you're open hearted, okay, like you're extremely more sensitive than you let on. This is what people say behind your back when you're not around, okay? So and I'm also getting some people may say that you could be moody at times with the where it says moody. And where, where it says social invitations or events, um, people say behind your back that in social gatherings or events, you like to stay in the back and just observe everybody else before you make a move or you before you let yourself be known or like try to interact with others. You're really uh, private. This is what pe people say behind your back when you're not around. What do people say behind your back? And I just saw 1010. Okay, we have the strength card, Leo energy again. So extremely courageous, powerful, okay, persuasive. You see we have the high priestess, okay? So the high priestess is somebody who's highly intuitive, okay? Very caring, very nurturing. We have Cancer and we have Leo. So you could have, you could be Leo, Cancer, Cuss. And we have the page. Uh, sorry, the, I'm looking at the page of pentacles and I'm saying page. Uh, we have the ace of cups. Like you have a healthy amount of self-esteem with the ace of cups. Okay, so you're not... Um, you're not shallow i'm getting okay your self-esteem is healthy you don't think that you're better than anybody else it's just like you believe that you are worthy of respect and you treat others as such as well okay so you treat people with respect but you see with the page of pentacles this is the energy of being um somebody who is reserved with the page of pentacles because it's like an energy of yes you're definitely trustworthy you're reliable however you don't really reveal all of yourself at once, okay? It's like layers to you. You just, it's like an onion, okay? So you peel the layers to you and you like keep people at arm's length at times whenever you don't trust them. This is what people say behind your back when you're not around, okay? What do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have the four of cups. Some people say that you may come off as if you are bored. I'm not getting that you are boring, but you don't really mesh well with um, boring or mundane conversation. Okay. You like deep conversation, interesting conversation, stimulating conversation. This is what people say behind your back when you're not around. It's like people feel like um, they bore you when they talk to you. Okay. This is what people say behind your back when you're not around. So they say that you seem on in, 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 wow. I can't even speak. They don't want me to say it. They, they say that you seem uninterested. Okay. You're not really engaged in the conversation when they talk to you. This is what people say behind your back when you're not around. And I feel like, like I said, you like interesting conversation. You're not going to talk about like, you know, 
what happened in some show or something like that okay you're really going to talk about something that has like some sort of meaning value to you okay so if you don't have nothing good to say or you don't have nothing interesting to say you're just going to stay quiet and just like read the room or watch the room okay this is what i'm getting here yeah you're cautious with the knight of pentacles you're reserved okay you take your time before you open up to others and this is what people say behind your back when you're not around you're extremely cautious here what do people say behind your back when you're not around we have the king of pentacles okay we have the king of pentacles okay so you're definitely trustworthy reliable okay this is what people say behind your back when you're not around you're definitely somebody who is also grounded compassionate so they know that they could come and talk to you they know that they could come and confine in you because you're not going to go and repeat what you've heard in the conversation so what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah we have the six of cups you may be really good with children you give them like this nostalgic feeling with the six of cups you remind them of somebody from their past somebody that they cared about or somebody that cared a lot about them with the six of cups where you really have this caring nature people say that you are extremely um appealing to the eyes easy on the eyes with the ace of wands but i'm also getting extremely creative passionate here with the ace of wands they know that you have a lot of skills you have a lot of talents wow we have the empress that flew out you're extremely beautiful or handsome here this is what people say behind your back when you're not around that you are extremely handsome or beautiful but you see that artistic energy with the empress creative okay but i'm getting like there's some people that are a little bit like intimidated by your beauty or your looks with the empress yeah and some people yeah some people they're just intimidated by your beauty i'm getting like they're kind of like hating on you with the empress but it doesn't really matter because the people that they're like talking ish about you too don't really care because they know that they're just being a hater that they're jealous of your beauty or your looks or your talents here with the empress okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked debilitated, discomfort, and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings okay so my pal number two what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back when you're not around so i'm getting with the debil debilitated um some people are intimidated by your presence okay they find you your presence to be um like i i don't know why i'm getting threatening with debilitated but i feel like it's because it's those people have like bad intentions towards you and this is why they follow you they find your energy or your presence intimidating okay threatening like like you bring some sort of threat and it's not like you're doing anything that will require like that would invoke those type of feelings in other people but i'm getting these people that are saying that behind your back are people that are threatened by your skills by threatened by your talent or threatened by your looks your beauty okay there's something about you that they don't feel comfortable because they don't have it okay i hope that makes sense so what do people say behind your back when you're not around we have the two swords, okay? Being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your own heart rather than, than trying to make others happy. Uh, pretending there is no problem. Over analyzing a situation, okay? What do people say behind your back when you're not around? 
we have the emperor so it makes a lot of sense okay with the emperor coming out the fact that they are intimidated by you you have a strong presence okay aries energy it says a logic and organization will increase your success take charge of a situation accept a leadership role structure and discipline that's what it is you are structured you are disciplined you have like a schedule for yourself you do things in a specific manner or a structured manner and these people they could be like like um, wishy-washy with the two of swords, unable to make a decision. While you, you're just so focused, so stern, so um, like you have great leadership skills as well because it says accept a leadership role. You could be in a leadership position. You don't have to be, but you definitely have leadership skills. And that's why some people are uncomfortable around you. And I feel like you are extremely attractive too, pile number two. So with the attraction and the personality to go with it, it's like, you're definitely a force to be reckoned with but some people just can't handle your light can't handle your energy for them it is like a threat okay because they see themselves and they look at you and they see that you have something that they do not okay and that's why it's threatening it's not that you are a threat like you know you're trying to go out there and try to hurt people i'm not getting that vibe at all it's just they can't handle your power they can't handle your strength you see nine of pentacles enjoying the fruits of your labor hard work that has led to a luxurious life buying yourself something special happily and successfully self-employed enjoying your solitude so you're not afraid to walk alone so i get for you pile number two uh, what people see behind your back is that you're comfortable like going out to a restaurant or going out to the movies by yourself with the nine of pentacles you not you're not afraid of your own solitude but also you live a life of luxury so i feel like you see how this woman is dressed she looks like royalty i feel like this is how you look in the streets it doesn't matter what you wear it's just how you wear it. the energy behind it makes you look like royalty so this is why it's like threatening or intimidating for some people okay and i feel like whether you're male or female here whatever your sexual orientation is okay so let's say if you are a woman okay and you're like into men i'm getting like women are intimidated by you and if you are into women and you are a woman is the same thing the women that are the same sexual orientation as you are intimidated by you because they feel like you have something else or you attract more mate than do and it's the same more mate than they do and it's the same thing for the men here whether you are a homosexual or heterosexual is the same thing okay like the opposite sex or same sex are threatened by what you possess the qualities that you have the lifestyle that the lifestyle that you live what you're able to do for yourself that your skill set i'm getting this is what is threatening and this is what people say behind your back when you're not around some people feel like you think you're better than them because you live a life of luxury but it's just like you worked so hard for this life and you see the empress guys i'm telling you you see the empress it says um time to take action give birth to your dreams creative projects will be very successful abundance and prosperity you are extremely abundant and not only that you are extremely beautiful or handsome so you have a really good balance of feminine and masculine energy I just heard kundalini okay maybe you had a kundalini experience for some of you i don't know why i just heard that but you see with the empress here you're extremely beautiful you're extremely creative some of you are self-employed you don't work a regular nine to five and i feel like maybe people in your entourage or old friends or family members are saying these things behind your back because they are threatened by what you have accomplished for yourself and they have not i'm really getting they feel inferior to you okay what do people say behind your back when you're not around my pal number two like you really make a lot of people uncomfortable what do we have here wow we have the ace of pentacles so a windfall of abundance wise counsel um, a or good fortune an exciting career opportunity a lucrative contact a, a significant purchase like a home or a vehicle some people are talking about your car okay they feel like i'm really getting like just haters hating on you talk about who do you think you are walking driving around in your mercedes in your cadillac your bmw okay they're just hating 
or you bought a new house or you bought a condo and they're talking about that wondering like how did you save up all this money to purchase your home this is what they say behind your back when you're not around they're just hating on you there's a lot of hate and jealousy around you more than you know okay and i feel like even the people that you think are celebrating with you they're talking ish behind your back saying that like you think you're all that because you you're able to purchase your first home or your first car or whatever it is that you purchase that is extremely beautiful and it's like an accomplishment for you you have a lot of people talking ish behind your back okay and we have the page of pentacles it says scholarly cheerful dependable mischievous um time to get to work an excellent opportunity presents itself happy news about your career promotion or scholarship a new area of study so you just can't keep getting blessed here with the page of pentacles i'm getting like you may have a new career opportunity and what is being said behind your back is like they're wondering how do you manifest these things how do these like new opportunities keeps finding you okay this is why they are they feel threatened by you because they feel like they can't compete with you or they can't measure up to you i'm really getting it's like either your old friends or like people around so you could even be people at your job saying that behind your back because maybe you got like if you're not working for yourself if you're not self-employed but you work a regular nine to five you're either up for a promotion or you already got this promotion and some people are wondering how did you get this promotion what is it that you're doing that they're not doing what is that what skills that you have that they don't have okay but i'm getting it's your discipline it's your structure the fact that you always want to improve the fact that you always want to get better okay you're always improving yourself no matter what it is that you're doing you always want to go the extra mile okay what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back okay so wow we have the king of swords okay so the king of swords says intelligent um, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice, uh, remain objective and fair-minded, public speaking, uh, communicate clearly, emotional, um, unemotional, oh yeah, sorry, unemotional relationships or being emotionally unavailable. So some people may say behind your back that you may be emotionally unavailable because you're just so focused on your business, you're full, so focused on your career. And we do have the three of pentacles. So it says, do what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work. And I did say that you work like, you go the extra mile. And it says, especially creative endeavor. So that's the Empress. Okay, that energy, that Taurus energy I'm getting with the Empress because this is the Pentacles. And with the King of Swords, this is that um, Libra energy. You're definitely balanced. You may have like air, fire, and earth in your chart, like on your top three I'm getting. But you see it says, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, an excellent reputation. So definitely your reputation precedes you with the three of pentacles okay so we have release here this is the death card okay it says ending that lead to new beginnings the need to release situation or people that hold you back spiritual transformation okay so you're definitely always improving and that's what i said earlier you're always transforming and i'm getting like this is where the emotional on un the emotionally unavailable is coming from where it says the need to release situation or people that hold you back so maybe some people from your past are saying behind your back that you you're selfish that you left them behind or you turned your back on them like you think you're too good for them because i feel like the minute that you turn your back on these people or you let them go that's the minute that you started leveling up and that's why they are uncomfortable okay What do people say behind your back when you're not around? You see? The star, the wheel of fortune. I'm telling you, the minute that you let go of these people, the minute that you healed, you became the star. You became the star of the show. Okay, you could be in the Aquarius here. We have the wheel of fortune. Okay, they're definitely talking about your fortune, how things have turned for the better for you ever since you left them behind. Yeah, you have some salty people, guys. Six of cups and the Empress again and the Eight of Swords. Some people are talking about like what they say behind your back when you're not around is I'm also getting that 
they may be talking about how in the past you could have been in the eight of swords energy okay trapped in fear you didn't know what to do but you definitely improved with the empress now you are in your power they're just hating by the fact that you are no longer trapped in fear you're no longer doubting yourself i feel like these people at one point in time they used to make you feel small but now that you leveled up they can't even touch you they can't even come close to you with the empress coming out twice and the star you've healed some people say behind your back that like you feel like you are popular or you're a, you're that it girl or that it guy with the star you may be in the public eye with the star you may have like your own social media platform or you may even have like your own youtube channel and it's popping some people are hating on that what do people say behind your back when you're not around but they also say that you have a healing energy i'm getting with the star okay we have the four of pentacles also another card about being disciplined structured and disciplined okay steady also reserved with the four of pentacles what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do we have here what is that the two of wands a visionary you're organized people definitely say that about you what do people say behind your back when you're not around that you're, you're extremely organized we have the devil okay some people say that you are obsessed with your work that you are emotionally unavailable they're just hating because you're just so focused with the devil you're too obsessed with your craft this is what they say behind your back when you're not around i'm also getting people at your job maybe say that you like they could say that you are obsessed with work that you you don't really socialize with them so let's say if after work they want to go um, for happy hours you choose not to do that you choose to either work on your personal goals or work on like at work like you know finish your project finish your task instead of like going to happy hours or instead of like taking a, like a coffee break to chit chat about nonsense you don't do that and people say that behind your back when you're not around and they say that you think you're too good or you're better than them because you don't want to interact with them like i'm getting they're salty we have the ace of swords the truth what do people say behind your back when you're not around just one card please yeah we have the knight of cups some people say that like behind your back that you are a charming person or you really know how to like get yourself out of this uncomfortable situation with the knight of cups okay so you know how to either like remove yourself from a situation quietly yeah you're you're a smooth talker this is what they say behind your back when you're not around that you're extremely smooth talker with the knight of cups yeah we have the king of swords again definitely they don't doubt your intelligence here they know that you're wise that you are ex extremely observant as well with the king of swords that you speak like you speak clearly you mean what you say you say what you mean okay like there's no in between with you okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number three, you picked Venus, beloved. And this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings so my pal number three what do people say behind your back when you're not around? So I'm getting like extremely seductive with that Venus energy, okay? So you could be um, a Libra or a Taurus, don't have to be. This is like similar to the Empress energy that I'm getting with the beloved Venus, okay? So you're extremely attractive here. Um, some people, they say behind your back that you think that you're all that, like, that some people say also that you could like you could be only beauty and not brains like they're trying to downplay you 
I'm also getting like some um, some women are probably saying about you that oh you think that you're all that but you're not the only reason why you got this guy or you got this girl is because of your beauty okay they're hating I'm getting like a lot of hate on your beauty like emphasizing on your beauty the men are mesmerized by your beauty they like they speak like they sing your praises about your beauty but the women here are like hating on you like they blame every good luck that you have in your life on your beauty okay this is what they say behind your back when you're not around okay like whenever they give you a compliment about your hair or your makeup when you leave it's like all ish bricks lose okay like all ish hits the fan but they're just haters bunch of haters what do people say behind your back when you're not around we have the seven of pentacles seeds well planted effort or investment that will be rewarded in the future the need for patience a time for resting and planning for the future unnecessary worry i feel like um some of you could be like celibate or virgins here with the seven of pentacles because the seven of pentacles to me is like a card of waiting or waiting to um like give yourself up to somebody or waiting to commit yourself to somebody so you're extremely cautious and extremely patient here and people say that behind your back when you're not around like you have like this cautious energy or i'm getting like some people may say that like behind your back that you are there's a word for it it's not coming to me anymore like it was there but it, i just have a memory blank right now for the word snob okay that's what they say behind your back when you're not around okay because i feel like you kind of know that they talk shit about you so that's the reason why you don't want to be around these people we have the king of pentacles compassionate accomplished charismatic grounded a time of great success financial security and prosperity the maddest touch everything turns out beautifully a supportive parent and spouse a good person to work for so definitely they say that you are charismatic so the men are saying great things about you that you're charismatic that you are accomplished some people are a little bit intimidated by the fact that you are a beautiful woman or a handsome man that is extremely accomplished so when you come to like a relationship or you come on a date you bring more than just your look to the table okay and like i said some people they hate and say that all you have is your looks but they know that you are extremely accomplished and they can't compete with you you're definitely financially secured or you are working towards your financial security and this is what people say about you behind your back when you're not around um, i'm getting also people say that you focus a lot about your your finances and that you may not have like a um, active social life okay what do people say behind your back when we, you're not around we have the six of pentacles the the good wow i can't even speak the good you do comes back to you unexpected inflow of abundance borrowing wisely or paying off debt sharing your wealth with others less fortunate so i'm really getting like people say behind your back that you're just so focused on your career you're so focused on like building yourself up or like even some of you could do charity work so people sit behind your back that you are extremely generous you're extremely a good person but you worry about the wrong things or you focus on the wrong things instead of like enjoying your youth or enjoying your life you're wasting it like working too hard or working long hours instead of like focusing on love or focusing on like just enjoying wasting your time basically this is what i'm getting here they're talking ish about you saying that you're somebody who's just too disciplined too serious this is what they say behind your back when you're not around like you're you're too serious you're too focused maybe you go to school and school is extremely important to you i feel like you have some people that want to like want to deviate you from your plan or like make you go out to drink loosen up a little bit they say that you're uptight that's the word i was looking for i keep on rambling but this is the word i'm looking for that you are uptight okay because you are reserved this is what they say behind your back when you're not around we have the high priestess okay we have meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire this is not the time for action develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive 
okay some people are a little bit scared of you with the high priestess because they know that you are highly intuitive some of you pile number three could be tarot readers okay as well and i'm getting like some people say behind your back that like because you are into tarot you know certain things or you could see certain things about them and they don't really like that they feel like naked or they feel vulnerable in your presence like they can't fool you or they can't get anything past you that you're too intuitive with the high priestess so you could be a cancer you could see right through them so it makes them feel uncomfortable in your presence what do people see behind your back when you're not around are you just really good at reading people what do people say behind your back when you're not around? We have the sun. This is Leo energy. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Okay. Wow. We have the queen of wands. Okay. So you may have fire and earth in your chart heavy. So we have the sun here. So a time of great joy and success brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities plans that work out perfectly gratitude to the divine okay some people say behind your back that you are a show-off with the sun card i don't know why i'm getting that because it says brilliant talented independent controlling there is nothing you can't do because you are confident in your skills so whenever there's a challenge you tackle it you tackle this challenge hands on okay heads on you don't really stumble or you don't fumble okay i'm really getting that and some people feel like you think you're all that in a bag of chips i'm really getting that that's why they're trying to downplay you or make you look small but they don't they can't they don't have the guts to say it to your face this is what i'm getting here believe in yourself never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true the need for balance between career and personal life and you see the need for balance for career, between career and personal life they're saying that you don't have balance work-life balance like you're too much of work 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 you know that rihanna song this is what i'm getting here like they're saying that you're too focused on work this is what they say behind your back when you're not around but i'm getting you have a specific goal in mind that you're trying to accomplish that's why you're just so focused on like working okay once you're you're done accomplishing your goals you're definitely going to take time to breathe out and then get back to it okay so you know where you're going in life you don't have time for nonsense okay and i feel like these people that are talking behind your back are people that waste their time with nonsense okay watching other people live their life while every day their life passes them by and they don't do anything productive with their time while you do okay and i'm really getting that especially with the sun and the queen of pentacles you're extremely confident in yourself you know what you can and cannot do and if you cannot do something you will learn how to do it instead of saying oh i can't do it Oh, I'm gonna give up no you're not a quitter okay so what do people say behind your back when you're not around we have the ten of cups yeah you're just so focused on your family and work you don't really have time to socialize it's like the people maybe at one point in time you used to socialize with them but you parted ways because you had goals in your life that these people were not helping you accomplish and you had to disconnect yourself from these people and I just feel like they're just haters anyways so um a happy marriage happily ever after emotional contentment a loving relationship with your children raising children wisely and successfully people you could trust yeah so people say behind your back that you may not trust them okay because I'm getting like these are not people that you could trust this is why it's coming up like that what do people say behind your back when you're not around? What do people say? Just one card, please. Just one card. What do people say behind your back when you're not around? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I see. Wow, I'm giving you two cards. So it says um, the three of pentacles. So do what you love. Um, recognition for your highest quality of work especially creative endeavors being paid well for your craft working well with others ex an excellent reputation so they definitely know that when it comes to your work your talents you have an excellent reputation they cannot come and compete with you they cannot compare they know that that's the reason why you are in the position that you are today is because of like your work ethics you have amazing work ethics and they know that and you see 
um, release this is the death card endings that lead to new beginnings the need to release a situation or people that hold you back spiritual transformation and i did say that you like released yourself from these people and they're salty a little bit these are the people that are saying these things behind your back like i'm getting like if you see these people um you know where to find them they always have this hangout spot you could always find them at a specific location doing the same thing with the same people every weekend or every other day okay so you know where to find them so i feel like if you go somewhere and you see them in the streets you say hi and bye and then if they ask you how's work how's life it's like you say the same old you don't really give them too much detail of like your personal life but once you leave this is when they talk ish behind your back saying like this person think oh they think they're all that just because of this or they only get that because they're pretty they they get that because oh like their parents or something like that they never want to give you credit for all of the hard work that you put in but deep down inside they know that you are extremely talented you are disciplined okay you are somebody who is charismatic who is grounded you are definitely accomplished and that's something that they cannot deny no matter how much they want to tell themselves that or they want to tell themselves that you are a show off that you know that you have like all these skills and these talents they know that it's true that you're not showing off you're just like being confident about your skills okay so what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do people say behind your back you see we have the hermit that wants to come out i'm being called to take it you see going at it alone spending time alone secluding yourself okay leaving people out in the cold this is what they say behind your back that you became boring we have the king of cups but they wanted to come out in reverse so i'm getting emotionally unavailable to these people and they feel some type of way because i feel like maybe at one point in time you used to chill with these people often and now you're like nah man I have better things to do this is what I'm getting here we have the ace of wands they talk about how creative that you are as well yeah I see the nine of Pentacles living a life of luxury that you are abundant this is what they say behind your back when you're not around that they talk about your style they know that you have a beautiful style they know that you've accomplished this life that you have right now on your own merits with the nine of pentacles you didn't really need their help you didn't really need their support you wanted it but you didn't really need their support at all and they thought that by not supporting you you were not going to make it so some of them are a little bit like in awe or jealous of the fact that regardless with or without them you made it happen with the nine of pentacles i'm also getting it's like some people in your past that maybe you guys used to share your goals and dream and you are the only one that actually accomplished your goals and dreams they like let themselves go or gave up on it okay yeah you see the ten of pentacles are talking about your success your abundance some of them are saying behind your back that you got lucky that the reason why you you got so successful is because you were lucky they don't want to give you your props this is what i'm getting here they do not want to give you your props what do people say behind your back when you're not around yeah oh they're salty i'm telling you five of swords they're angry oh my gosh the five of swords is like you know the like angry energy bitter yeah they're talking down on you they're definitely saying you got lucky oh i can't stand this mother soka this is what i'm getting here with the five of swords this is what they're saying behind your back when you're not around they can't stand you what do people say behind your back when you're not around what do we have here we have the nine of wands what do people say behind your back wow seven of wands that you're defensive that you block them that you're no longer interested in them but yeah if you're gonna be talking ish about me like that why would you want me to be your friend then with the seven of wands yeah heck yeah i'm gonna block you what do people say behind your back we have the two of pentacles i'm telling you they know that you are talented with the two of pentacles you're talking about how you block them that you're extremely strong too like you you persevere no matter what with the nine of wands like i feel like you're the only one in your friend group that actually made your dreams come true or actually went after your goals and this is why they're hating okay this is what they say like i feel like you may see them from time to time or when you go back to your hometown to to visit family if you do or if you go by like a specific area and you know they hang around there and you see them and you just say hi and bye ask them how was their day or whatever you keep it short and sweet these people when you leave they're just you know talking down on your name 
okay with the seven of wands they're talking about like how you're now you're like i said you're a snob like you don't really want to talk to me you don't want to hang with them like that anymore they're jealous okay so that's all i have for you my pal number three i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number three bye